Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and we have another Computex 2024 booth tour for you guys today and it is from our time spent on at the Noctua stand at the recent Computex 2024 trade show in Taipei. So Noctua, not really needing an introduction for most PC enthusiasts out there. It makes some of the best performing and most premium products around, especially its fans and its coolers. And we checked out a couple of the new products coming to Noctua's product lines. And uh, another reason why I love the company is that it makes lots of great products for us small form factor and mini ITX guys and we've got a bit of bonus content at the end of this video showing you an upcoming product that we're going to be looking at from the company so let's crack on okay so we are here on the Noctua booth at Computex and we've got some super interesting stuff in terms of coolers and fans and some other things to show you today so uh Starting off, we have a brand new 40mm cooler, so this is the NH-D15 G12. We can see here that it's under testing at the moment. Uh, very, very soon we're going to see this cooler. The, uh, I'm told that samples should be a widely available retail by July, hopefully by the end of June as well. So, three different versions of this thing available, and one is for AMD and the other two are for Intel. So, the problem that we have is that you have uh, the convexity of the CPU, and what that means is basically when the processor is clamped down in the socket and there's pressure applied by the cooler, you basically get a, uh, a misshapen CPU, so it's not flat. And that's more of a problem with Intel. So if you want to modify the cooler and uh, have washers there to prevent that convexity, then you can go for one of the options here. And then if you just want to strap the cooler to your processor socket and go, you don't want to do any modding, then you go for the other version. So more details on that on Noctua's website, but it's a very interesting solution to a problem that uh, continues to uh, be an issue with Intel CPUs and the socket mounting mechanism. But not to uh, giving you both options there, uh, depending on whether you want to do a little bit of modding or whether you want to just run the cooler as it is out of the box. AMD socket AM5 tends to run a lot flatter, um, so it yeah, has sort of medium uh, or low base com uh, convexity, so you'll basically just be able to just buy one cooler for your AMD system, uh, socket AM5, and that of course will be compatible with Ryzen 9, 9000 series CPUs because there's no there's been no change to the socket. Um, also, this should be compatible with Intel's next generation socket as well, so uh, no real changes there in terms of the uh, the actual socket mounting hole spacings or anything like that, but kind of an interesting workaround that Noctua has come up with here and uh, we're going to move on and have a look at the actual fans that are used in these coolers in just a second. So Noctua kind of changing things up there and uh, having to reinforce the fan frame to stop that happening and uh, we've also got a tweaked fan blade design. You can see there's quite a sweeping motion to those blades and different uh, aerodynamics going on at the tips rather than the inside purely because the inside is traveling less fast than the outside of the fan frame. So lots and lots of technology here. Uh, this is why we've had to wait so long for the new 140 millimeter fans from Noctua because they've had to reinforce the fan frame, tweak the aerodynamics and uh, a few other things as well. And as promised at the end of the video, we have a very special cooler in the lab at the moment. We have the Noctua NH-L12-77 low profile cooler, which is a revamped version of the smaller cooler with more heat pipes, more performance and better memory clearance. So we're going to be building this into a fractal design terror very, very soon on the channel for an epic lifestyle PC build and a very cool gaming machine in its own right as well. So stay tuned, subscribe and we'll be back very, very soon.